Good morning, Hawks. I'm Neil. And I'm Kevin. Today is Thursday, April 30th, 2015. On Hawk TV, we have important information on the STEM program, Rocket Club, clubs, and more. Now please stand for the flag salute. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. It's not too early to think about getting a sports physical for next year. We have coupons for a limited time, for a limited time only, for a sports physical for $29 if you don't have insurance. The coupons are good until May 31st, 2015. Rite Aid pharmacies have opened on-site clinics called Red Clinic in Mill Creek and Shoreline. You don't need an appointment, and appointments are seven days a week with extended weekday hours. If you are interested, go to the ASB office for the coupon, which has location details on it. Now here's some information about the fashion show, FCCLA, Anime Club, Key Club, and HBN. Take This Dress to Heart fashion show and dress sale on May 3rd will be an opportunity for ladies to purchase gently worn evening gowns and prom dresses. We have over 500 beautiful dresses for as little as $25. That killer dress you purchase can save a life, as money raised at this event will help purchase automated external defibrillators to help protect over 20,000 students. The American Academy of Pediatrics estimated that 2,000 people under the age of 25 die from sudden cardiac arrest in the United States every year. The use of an AED within minutes can increase survival rate over 60%. Visit heartofedmondsd.org to learn more. Hi, I'm Robin. And I'm Jacinta, and we're here from FCCLA to tell you that this week only, we'll be hosting a clothing drive for Clothes for Kids, a local nonprofit organization. There will be a marked box at the entrance before school and in the office for the rest of the day. Please bring any new or gently used kids' clothes and teens' clothes. Thank you. Thank you. What is up, all you beautiful people? I'm Rawlings McDaniels, your Anime Club VP, and on Thursday, we are going to be having our annual amazing and majestic Super Smash Bros. tournament for the fourth Smash Bros. installment on the Wii U. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be in room 211 after school, going from 2 to 3.30. I love all of you guys. Praise Helix, and have a great day. Hey Terrace, I'm Judy. And I'm Ginny. Have you ever seen a wall of toothpaste? If you want to see one bigger than this, come to our meeting on Friday in room 115 at 2 p.m. We'll also be sorting out the toiletry drive, toiletries from the toiletry drive, so come out and help us. See you Friday. Hello Hawks, my name's Ian, and if you don't know what I do in HBN, I record sports. And recording sports is a great part of HBN and it means a lot because when you record sports you you can broadcast it live for family and friends who can't make it to the event and it's great for memories we live in a day and age where if it's not in a video or in a photo it never happened it never existed so you want those memories and you want your friends and families to watch so to preserve the memories please talk to your counselors during lunch to sign up for HBN Good morning, Hawks. My name is Sarah Schenk. I'm HBN News Director. I just wanted to remind you to sign up for HBN next year and keep expressing your First Amendment rights. Keep HBN alive. Now back to the studio. There will be a Rocket Club meeting today at 2 p.m. in room 133. We will be discussing the upcoming trip to the Fire in the Sky event, as well as beginning to plan for next year. Seniors must return their orange graduation information form by May 6th but the sooner the better. They have to turn their own, in person, to the counseling office to verify their name before May 6th. DECA members, due to a conflict today, the meeting will be next Thursday, May 7th, in room 108 at 2 p.m. We will be electing officers for next year, discussing Mariner Day, and planning our end-of-the-year barbecue. Please plan to attend. Last night, MTHS Tennis lost against Linwood 3-4. You'll get them next time, girls. Continuing with our celebration of Poetry Month, here is Bricey with our poem of the day. Good morning, my beautiful Hawk brothers and sisters. 
Today, April 30th, Thursday, is the last day of National Poetry Month. It's also Poem in Your Pocket Day. On that day, if you have a, well wait, if you like me have a poem in your pocket and you see someone, well like you, that might need some of the wonder and glory that is poetry, you might take that poem out of your pocket and read it to someone like I'm going to read for you. Poetry by Nikki Giovanni. Poetry is motion, graceful as a fawn, gentle as a teardrop, strong in the eye, finding peace in a crowded room. We poets tend to think our words are golden, though emotions speak too loudly to be defined by silence. Sometimes after midnight, or just before dawn, we sit typewriter in hand, pulling loneliness all around us, forgetting our lovers or children who are sleeping, ignoring the weary wariness of our own logic to compare a poem. No one understands it. It never says, love me, for poets are beyond love. It never says, accept me, for poems seek not acceptance, but controversy. It only says, I am, and therefore I concede that you are too. A poem is pure energy, horizontally contained between the mind of the poet and the ear of the reader. If it does not sing, discard the ear, for poetry is song. If it does not delight, discard the heart, for poetry is joy. If it does not inform, then close off the brain, for it is dead if it cannot heed the insistent message that life is precious which is all we poets, wrapped in our loneliness, are trying to say. Poetry by Nikki Giovanni, from my po pocket to your heart. That's all we have for today. If you have an announcement for the show, stop by room 114 or email us at hottvnews at gmail.com. Also, HBN is now being posted on YouTube. Just search up Hot TV, lowercase v, and subscribe, please. Have a great day, Terrace, and we'll see you tomorrow.